Mercer and East Carolina is up next. Greenville, North Carolina, Minji's Coliseum. Uh, Mercer, interesting, a one-point favorite here against ECU with a total of 135 in this one. Let's go back to Matty Cox. You're going to have the official play on this one, uh, on this matchup here. Mercer has been a team that, especially early on in the year, has been able to pull some upsets in the past. They're actually a road favorite here. Matty, what do you like? Yeah, I know it seems odd um, backing a road favorite team from the SoCon playing an American team, but ECU is is basically, a, they're an outlier in that conference, and they're especially uh, is interesting case study this season under the stewardship of first-year head coach Mike Schwartz comes over from Tennessee, who was a defensive mastermind behind Rick Barnes' defense. However, it's a complete year zero rebuild, and I'm basically fading ECU in sort of that identity crisis part of the year. Um, Mercer has enough guys back from last year. Now they have two key guys potentially out for this game. Uh, I'm not worried about that, though. I think they have plenty of size and depth up front. They brought in Jalen McCreary, a big-time athlete from South Carolina. I think he's going to be a difference maker up front. Um, I think Mercer should be favored by a field goal or higher. So I'm looking at taking the value here at minus one. Excuse me, Corby, any yeah. thoughts here if no official play on this one with East Carolina actually catching a point uh, here in this one at home? Yeah, so when I saw that we were um, going to be discussing this, I, to be as transparent as possible, don't know much about Mercer ECU. So I, I went through some digging, and I was curious where Matt was going to go with this. It's kind of the same output that I went. Um, this bench for ECU, like they're just fully – they're restarting. So this bench is full of freshmen. Uh, they lost three double-digit scores. They only have one guy coming back with experience over 20 minutes. So it's just an ECU team that – it's, again, a fade of the idea that early on these teams just aren't going to have any chemistry or mesh. And it's going to be tough for a team with no bench depth uh, when they come out. If, if Mercer puts any kind of pressure on these kids that just have never played college basketball are going to struggle, struggle early on in the season. Okay, fair enough. Again, Matty Cox has the official play uh, in this situation. We will lock him in with the Mercer Bears. He will lay the point uh, tonight for this matchup in Greenville, North Carolina.